Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And the Lord is saying today, my child, it is time to declare war on the enemy, for I have already defeated the enemy and brought him along with all of his minions to an open shame. Yes, I have already triumphed over all the powers of darkness and it is time for you to not just be on the defensive, but it is time for you to arise and to be on the offensive in this war. It is time for you to bring the fight to his camp and take back what he has stolen from you. Did I not say that on this rock of this revelation of who I am as the Christ and Messiah, that I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail? Yes, my child. So arise as you make up part of that body and I am bringing a shaking within this hour to set apart those that truly fear my name. You are already, yes, you already have access to a super intelligent system that is the power of my ever-present spirit. Yes, my child, that I have promised to send you, to lead you, to guide you even into the victory against the enemy through every battle that you will face. Therefore, arise and prepare and do not be scared anymore. For I have called you to tread upon serpents, to tread upon scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And yes, nothing shall by any means hurt you, my child. I will be with you to the very end. So armor up today and prepare to fight for it is time for you. Yes, it is time for you. It is time for you to arise, to awaken and take the land. For this battle belongs to me. And your battle is not against the flesh and blood, but against all the forces of darkness. So fight in the spirit and put on that garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that is trying to keep you down. The war is already won. Therefore, position yourself today and advance my kingdom in everything you do. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is with me today as I declare this word to you. Somebody say hallelujah. Holy Spirit, just come right now. As we turn to the book of John, chapter 17, the Lord is speaking to us. It says from verse 15, I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. Somebody say hallelujah. Then it goes down to verse 20. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their words. Somebody say hallelujah. Precious saints, the greatest warfare of mankind, which started long ago, is still ongoing today for the innumerable amount of souls that the enemy is after today. Precious saints, we are living in the end times. We are living in the end times and everything of the enemy's plans are being exposed. Even as the plan and the agenda of the United Nations, of all those government positions are trying to bring out this 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 digital currency that are trying to bring out this one world order and everything that we're seeing taking place today precious saints it is time for you to awaken out of your slumber and understand that the times and seasons that we are living in right now somebody say hallelujah god is awakening his church god is awakening his bride that he is coming back for very soon see god never intended for his church to patiently wait on the sidelines of this battle that we're in but rather he has delegated us 
with authority from heaven. Whatever we bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loosen on this earth shall be loosened in heaven also. Somebody say hallelujah. He has given us this, all the weapons that we need, though they are invisible, we, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against all the powers of darkness. And we already have the victory. Somebody say hallelujah. That's right. Now is the time. Now is the time for the remnant saints to arise and shine, to answer the call and to rise up and engage its enemy like never before. Somebody say amen. But remember, to deal with any stronghold, to deal with any strong man, to deal with any wrong foundation, we must destroy the demonic hold and the power that it is working behind it by confessing God's word and also praying and fasting and doing warfare. Somebody say hallelujah. That is why we do so many fasting programs. That is why we release so many prayers against the forces of darkness to equip you, precious saints, to equip you, not for us to sell a book, not for us to sell you merchandise, not for us to ask for uh, sow your seed. No, the Lord is rebuking all that in this hour because of the hour that we are in. We are so close to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and God is saying, arise and take the battle today to the end enemy's camp somebody say hallelujah and that is why we do all this for you free of charge to equip you because we know that we must advance the kingdom within this hour precious saints hallelujah see Jesus not only prayed for his disciples but also the ones to come to be protected from the evil one which we are seeing today you are that one I am that one that we may be protected from the evil one despite of all the agenda of the enemy within this hour to come against God's creation somebody say hallelujah See, the Lord is telling us, He's telling the remnant bride, He is calling them within this hour to arise and to declare war on the enemy. Now, the Bible says, according to Hebrews 10, verses 12 to 13, it says, But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. Since that time, he awaits for his enemies to be made a footstool for his feet because by a single offering, he was made perfect for all time those who are sanctified. Precious saints, it is time to come out of your hiding places. For just as Jesus went to the desert for prayer and fasting and preparation, we also have been prepared for such a time as this. That's why you'll see us calling you to fast every week, calling you to fast every month, free of charge so that you are part of that remnant bride, that you are part of that army within this end time hour to march through the land and take back what the enemy has stolen from you. Somebody say hallelujah. Remember, we are not in a natural warfare, though it has manifested in the natural all around us because many in the church are, no, are not just asleep, but they also refuse to to speak out. Yes, we are in a time of great censorship where you cannot just freely speak without being censored by the status quo of the culture of this day. But that does not also give us a right to remain silent because of fear. Rather, we should fear God alone. Somebody say hallelujah. It is time for us to arise and come out of our hiding. God is preparing you 100 
100% for victory. Somebody say hallelujah. See, the strategy of the devil is to discredit the character of God. The character of God is love. Every aspect of God, he is trying to discredit. When the world tells you the word love, it is the opposite to that. When the world tells you the word for health, it means the opposite. Only in God's word will you find truth in this hour because we are living in a world of smoke and mirrors. We are living in a world of great deception within this hour, but God is calling us today to stand upon His Word, to stand in victory like never before. It is time to rise up and to declare war on the devil, war on the enemy. Somebody say hallelujah. It is God's will for you to be prepared. It's God's will for you to be prepared and not be scared. Somebody say hallelujah. It is time to write write a line in the sand and tell the devil, devil, today we are, we are advancing forward. We are no longer just going to operate in the defense as we're seeing the church has been operating in a defensive for too long. Now God is calling us to operate in the offensive, to take back what the enemy has stolen from you. Whatever that is that is going on in your household, whatever that warfare is, maybe it is for your prodigal children. God is saying, go and take back in the spiritual what has been stolen from you and claim what is right rightfully yours today in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe it is against your health. Maybe the devil is coming against your health. You must declare that you will walk in divine health from this day forth in the name of Jesus Christ. You must declare that your body shall be healed, that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead would also bring life to your mortal body in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever oppression is around you, You must declare today that the praises of God will remove that that spirit of heaviness that is around you today in the name of Jesus Christ. If He is coming against your finances today, you must declare today that through Christ Jesus, I have all the riches that I need because through Him, He shall provide for all of my needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. we got to take back what is rightfully ours today. We must no longer just work on the defense, but rather we work on the offense and we see the end to the enemy that is coming against your household, that is coming against your marriage, that is coming against your children, that is coming against every aspect of what God is calling us in this hour. God is calling us to arise, precious saints. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar, precious saints. And God is calling us in this hour to arise and shine in this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. It is time for us to shine. It is time for us to come against all the forces of darkness that are coming against your household, that are coming against your cities, that are coming against your nations. It's time for the remnant bride of Christ to arise and shine in this hour because He is coming back back for a pure bride that has been washed, that has been cleansed. Hallelujah. It is time for revival within our personal lives. It is time for revival in your life also. It is time for us to declare free of charge, free of charge what Jesus did. Freely He is given, freely we shall receive also in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I declare upon your people today, Lord, that you will touch them Oh, Holy Spirit, you will come and pour out your Spirit upon each person today. Those that are hungry, those that are thirsty for you, you will come and fill them today. Come and heal your people. Come and deliver them. Oh, Lord, I pray that you would stir up within them today. Lord, that they would have a passion for prayer and fasting. As we go into this time of three days of prayer and fasting, coming against the evil one today, oh, Lord, I pray that you would arise 
eyes on each person. Lord, that they would press in like never before because it is time for war. It is time for war against the devil. It is time for war against the enemy. It's time for war for those things that are coming against your household, coming against your life, coming against your family, your loved ones today in the name of Jesus Christ. It is time for revival, precious saints. Come and touch your people. Lord, I pray, ignite a passion, a holy passion for you once more in the name of Jesus within each person. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from the prayer mountain, from the wilderness, crying out for God to do a great move within your life. I encourage you to join in the prayer and fasting that is taking place this weekend. If you haven't decided to, or if you were anticipating, make sure that you participate, that you will receive your breakthrough and see God move on your behalf in this hour. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance, you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Rumble, Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. As I said, we're on the three-day fasting that starts tomorrow. I pray that as in advance, as we are on that prayer mountain, as we are in the wilderness praying for you to see God move. I encourage you to press in like never before. And don't forget, precious saints, everybody in South Africa, let the clarion call be made that we are coming there to spark and to stir up repentance, revival to all those that hunger and thirst for righteousness. We are traveling to four cities. We have got meetings back to back in every place trying to reach the high and the byways. I encourage you to join. I encourage you to travel, to be part of these meetings because your faith will determine your visitation. Step out and believe God will move for you in South Africa within this hour. This is a grace period. This is a grace period for us to move while time is still on our side. The Messiah is coming. Let us prepare everyone from my family to yours. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.